Many Porsche Boxster and 996 owners choose to delay replacement of their intermediate shaft bearing. Some of the most common reasons cited include that the risk is relatively low, the problem is made up, that Tiptronic models don't have IMS failures as often, or that if their IMS bearing hasn't already failed, then it won't. The 8% failure rate disclosed in the Eisen vs Porsche class action lawsuit established the IMS bearing problem as a real issue. However, these figures are certainly out of date and likely to be significantly higher as these engines get older. IMS bearing failures would now appear to occur less often. One reason to explain this phenomenon is that more owners are aware of the issue and have their car's IMS bearing replaced as a part of preventative maintenance. Because of misinformation that still circulates the internet surrounding the specifics of the IMS bearing issue, owners of 986 Boxster and 996 models with Tiptronic automatic transmissions often believe their cars are less likely to fail, but the fact is, Porsche made far less Tiptronic models making it appear to fail less compared to the higher volume of models with manual gearboxes. As with any mechanical component, it will wear and eventually fail if not replaced. This is no different than having to change your water pump and AOS preventively as these components can also cause significant damage to your Porsche Boxster or 996 engine if they fail. Where some IMS bearings have made it more than 100,000 miles, there are an equal number that have failed with significantly less miles in operation. How the car is driven and maintained both play into this. Often cars that are tracked or higher mileage daily drivers tend to have less problems with their IMS bearing, likely because they are serviced more often, and in most cases, driven and used as a Porsche is intended. Inspection of the oil filter, sump, and even a used oil analysis can only go so far to know the health of your IMS bearing. Early models with the factory dual row bearing do have the benefit of presenting symptoms of the IMS bearing issue before experiencing a catastrophic failure, often showing ferrous magnetic debris in the oil filter or on the magnetic drain plug with the appearance of silver glitter. Unfortunately, the later 6204 single row bearing implemented by Porsche gives little to no warning and typically does not generate ferrous debris until right before the bearing fails. The 6204 single row bearing most typically fails at idle when the load is greatest, but if it fails at higher engine speeds, the collateral damage can be significantly worse. When pulling the oil filter and sump plate for inspection, looking for ferrous glitter is the telltale sign of a failure in process. Any engine exhibiting this symptom should not be run until the Porsche IMS bearing issue is addressed which involves replacement of the intermediate shaft bearing. When Porsche designed the 986 Boxster and 996 engine, they chose to use a sealed ball bearing. As the engine ages, the grease seal becomes hard and brittle, then it fails. When the bearing's grease seal becomes compromised, the permanent grease inside the bearing is washed out allowing limited oil flow in and out of the bearing. Engines without ferrous debris can still generate hard black plastic wear materials which can come from the chain rails, but also from the IMS bearing's grease seal, which can be early indicators of an IMS bearing failure. That is why it is important to change your oil more often and use an oil with higher levels of anti-wear additives like Driven DT40. Carrying out a used oil analysis can be a valuable tool, especially with known Porsche cylinder bore scoring issues. Increased iron levels as well as depleted zinc and phosphorus anti-wear additive levels can indicate possible IMS bearing wear, just as increased aluminum and silicon levels show the onset of cylinder bore scoring. At Ellen Engineering, we use and recommend speed diagnostics, as they have the most comprehensive testing and analysis. In conclusion, it is critical that all Porsche owners understand the IMS bearing issue, so that they can make an educated decision about if and when it's time to replace their 986 Boxster or 996 Intermediate Shaft bearing. Call or visit ellenengineering.com to learn more.